How you doing, gentlemen? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to talk to you a little bit about bust-down watches. That's right, bust-down watches. And let's get right into it. You know, I have a friend of mine that called me up that has a bust-down watch that he wanted to sell, that he wants to sell. And it's an Adamas Piquet Chrono, you know, fully with diamonds, you know, on the bezel and then on the bracelet and all that good stuff. You know, bust-down watch, you know, made by his favorite, you know, basement jeweler, you know? banged up you know with, with a hammer bang 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 and putting diamonds all over the place and just making it look like a million dollar watch and i want you to know that i took took a look at his watch and uh, i noticed that the watch just had aftermarket bracelet aftermarket casing and even the dial was an aftermarket dial you know the watch was just aftermarket the only original thing on that watch that it had was the movement but the rest was just full of aftermarket parts so I want you to know that if you're buying bust down watches because you like them and you're going to rock them and you don't care the day you're going to sell it again because you outgrew it as a man already, you want something more serious in your life, you're done with bust down things, with bust down watches, you know, bust down things is bust down diamond necklaces, you know, all that, you know, Tiffany little chains with little hearts on, you know, the men to their worrying. Yeah, I don't know, you know, it, I, I haven't, it hasn't caught on with me, but you know, I'm to each his own, if you like that, you like that, you know? But anyway, going back to the bust down, you know? I can tell you that, it, again, if you're buying that kind of watch because you like it and you don't have a problem losing thousands of dollars, that's not a problem. But I'm gonna tell you, if you bought a bust down watch, you know, let's say uh, let's say an AP for $60,000. Don't think for a moment the day you get bored and you become an adult and you wanna upgrade it to something serious, that you're going to get your $60,000, I got news for you. You'll be lucky. You'll be lucky if you get 10 cents to 15 cents to the dollar on that bust-down watch. Because bust-down watches, I'm not going to tell you they're dead in a backyard pool or dead in water. I'm going to tell you bust-down watches are dead in a septic tank. That's right. Bust-down watches are dead in a septic tank. You don't know what a uh, septic tank is? is? Just Google it and find out what a septic tank is. I'm telling you, bust down watches are dead in a septic tank. It's smelly, really, really smelly. Bust down watches are critical. I'm telling you, bust down watches are critical like this, you know? They're critical. <gasps> <gasps> Critical in a septic tank. So don't be dodo birds. Don't let your favorite Muppet boiler room, Muppet channel fool you with bust down watches. They're dead. It is the worst investment you can do. You're taking $60,000 and you're gonna get back a return of $10,000. If that, I can promise you between 15, between 10 and 15 cents to the dollar, you're gonna get back. But again, if you like bust on watches and you don't have a problem losing all those tens of thousands of dollars, then there's not a problem, you know? If you don't have a problem losing tens of thousands of dollars, you don't have a problem. But I'm telling you, bust down watches are dead in a septic tank, all right? And I'm talking about if you take a Pate Philippe uh, 5711, a stainless steel and you fill it up with you know with those basement jeweler diamonds you know hammered out boom 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 you know putting those yellow black tar diamonds on them you know bad diamonds you, you just you just took a hundred thousand dollar watch and, and you converted it into a five thousand dollar watch i'm talking about a 57 11 pate philippe you know done by your favorite you know basement jeweler you know hammering away putting diamonds cheap diamonds and making it look just terrible you're gonna lose all your money you know i know a gentleman also that has a beautiful pate philippe anniversary this man this is an unbelievable watch you know unbelievable watch beautiful material and he took the watch that was a four hundred thousand dollar watch and and he put aftermarket diamonds on the watch and today the watch is worth probably, you know, that Pate Felipe is worth probably $80,000. And, and now, if you want to get it back to normality, you have to 
you know, take it to a specialty jeweler, a real fine jeweler, you know, to laser in all those little holes they made to put all those little diamonds and baguettes and all that ugly stuff they put on it because, you know, bust on watches are dead in a septic tank. And, you know, they have to try to fix it again for you, fill all those holes, you know, with, with the white gold, or platinum, whatever it is, and try to make it look exactly the same way it was from factory. And I got news for you. It's never going to be the same. And they're going to charge you a hefty, hefty price to make it look again original. So once you do that to your watch, basically I call it, you destroy your watch. It's a septic tank watch. Smelly, smelly, critical. So be smart. Don't let your favorite Muppet Boiler Room channels keep on fooling you with these bust down watches. Unless they're factory diamond watches, they're dead in a septic tank. That's right. Nobody wants them. You know, not even these Muppet Boiler Room channels. They won't tell you that, but I'm going to tell you right now. Not even them. They don't even want that watch. You know, when you come back with that watch that you spend the $30,000 on a bust down Cartier, and they know they got to give you enough for that watch, $5,000. They don't even want it. They don't even want it because it's dead. It has to be a real special dodo bird that wants that watch. It has to be a real big lollipop sucker that wants that watch. Because bust down watches are dead in a septic tank. I'm telling you, you know what a septic tank is? Google it. Google it. Smelly. They're critical. Nobody wants them. I'm telling you, they're critical. They're critical. Those watches are critical, and I mean they're critical. They're in a bad position. Don't be dodo birds and listen to your Muppet Boiler Room channels that that watch is nice, that you're going to go to the club and you're going to open a couple of bottles and you're the man out there. No, you know what you are? You're a dodo bird for buying that watch, for buying that bust-down watch that you can't get your money ever back again. So lay off bust-down watches, okay? That's for you guys to know. Lay off that. Because those watches are dead. Those watches are dead in a septic tank like this. I'm telling you, stay away from them. I know what I'm telling you. Stay away from them. Bust down watches are dead. Nobody wants them. Not even your favorite Muppet Boiler Room channel. When he sees you walk into his showroom with that watch, they run to the hills. They run through the back door and leave. Cause they don't want to buy that watch from you. That watch is, that watch is smelly. Smelly from a septic tank. It's dead in a septic tank and floating face down. All right? So be smart. Stay away from bust down watches. Nobody wants them. Nobody wants them. Only little lollipop suckers. Only little lollipop suckers want them, you know? You know, those young kids, you know, with the hoodies, and the Louis Vuitton sneakers, you know, and the, and the diamond necklaces, they're the ones that want them. And the Muppet Boiler Rooms love those guys. You know, the Muppet Boiler Rooms love those guys with the, with the Louis Vuitton sneakers and the hoodie, you know, and the, the diamond necklace. They, they, they want those lollipop suckers to come around and buy those watches. That's right, because they're the only ones that buy those watches, because those watches are dead in a septic tank and full of, okay? So listen to me, don't be dodo birds. Stay away from bust down watches unless they're factory. Unless, or also if you don't care losing $50,000, $40,000. As soon as you buy that watch from one of your favorite Muppet Boiler Room channels for $50,000, as soon as you walk out with it, that watch is worth now $5,000. You tell them that Opus and Time told you that. That as soon as you buy them for $50,000 and you walk out of the showroom, that watch is worth $5,000. $5,000. Okay? Because bust down watches are dead in a septic tank and full of it. Oh, smelly, smelly, smelly. Okay? So don't be dodo birds. I hope you learned something today from bust down watches. And don't fall for it. Those guys are unbelievable. Those guys are a bunch of hoodwinkers, hucksters, you know, grifters. Don't be lollipop suckers. And also, gentlemen, the secondary gray watch market is dead. Dead, 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 dead. 
Well, gentlemen, I really hope you enjoyed what I had to say today and you learned something about bust on watches. Stay away from them. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my video. And like I say every week, take care and brush your hair. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm gonna take off the towels. Okay. So you gotta go get it.